Okay, and welcome back. Uh, I'm up here behind the camera, and this video is going to be about mounting the rudder servo into the airplane. Uh, we're just going to do the mounting and uh, getting it ready. Um, re uh, the reason for that is we need to uh, use the CA glue to harden up the holes, and um, so let me go through what I've got ready to, to do this. First, I've got the rudder servo with the arm in. The arm is centered, has the two um, quick connects on it uh, for later video when we install the um, push rods. Um, I got my electric powered or battery powered uh, precision drill. Got a pair of forceps so that I can easily get the wire uh, through uh, to install the servo. I got the four screws that came with the servo. The four screws are M2 by 15 millimeters. Got a small wedge to wedge the servo all the way to the left side of the aircraft um, and hold it there while I uh, uh, mount uh, the servo. By the way, the servo already has the grommets and the eyelets in it. And if you want to see how I did the, how you do those, refer to the uh, aileron uh, servo uh, mounting where I showed how to put all those in. I got my pin vise to drill my pilot hole. Has a um, one millimeter drill bit. These are two millimeter screws, and so that'll be fine. Got a hand uh, precision uh, Phillips screwdriver. Got the thin uh, mercury adhesive, thin CA, and the uh, applicator to apply the thin CA. Uh, plus, I how officially I got the airplane. So let me stop here and uh, get started. Okay, uh, I'm back, and I'm going to install. Uh, begin by installing the uh, uh, servo. It's uh, sometimes easier to. Do all this with a pair of forceps. Pull the wire through and then get the servo in place. Okay. Um, next, I want the servo all the way to this side, so this part of the so this part of the servo arm is not. Uh, this part of the servo arm is not uh, interfering with the aileron servo, so I'm going to use this small little wooden wedge just to push it down there and wedge it in place so it doesn't move while I'm doing this. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to move the wedge forward a little bit so it's not in the way. Okay. So the next thing is the pin vise. And uh, I'm going to just put it in the hole, try to find as close to center as I can, and mark the hole. Then we come down here and mark this hole. Mark the bottom two holes. Try as best I can to get the pin vise right in the center of the hole. So far, they all look good. So better take your time trying to find the center of the hole. Okay. All right. So those four holes look good because the arm, this arm is in the way of drilling my pilot hole. Uh, I'm going to pull this out and uh, rem remove the servo. I'm going to stop for a second. Okay, I'm back and I decided to remove the servo to drill these pilot holes because I want the pilot holes to be nice and straight. And that arm was in the way. See how the pilot hole is drilled. Sorry, 
my hand's going to be in the way of this one. Okay. So the four pilot holes are drilled, and I'll put the servo back in. Okay, I put the servo back in. As you can see, I took the arm off to make it easier to start these four screws so that front arm won't be in the way. I'm going to start all four screws first and then use the power drill to, to uh, get them down. And that's why you need a pair of forceps. If I drop it again, I'm going to go get my tweezers. That went in okay. Remember these grommets have an eyelet in them and that eyelet, uh, the smooth side of it is down so you don't see that smooth side here on top and the uh, sharp side is up toward the camera there and uh, um, that prevents the eyelet from digging in as you tighten these down. And I dropped the screw on the four. Oh no! I'm coming back with the screw. I'm at the edge of the table so it didn't fall on the table. Okay. Now the power drill is only going to drill these in about 80%, not 100. Remember all we're doing here is uh, tapping these uh, screws in order to um, put the CA in them. I say 80% because the part of the screw that um, has the threads on it uh, doesn't go all the way to the head of the screw. so. Uh, you don't need to really drill them in all the way. Okay. Let me um, back and back, back and back out all the way. I am going to go get my tweezers because. They're right here, and that'll make it so much easier to pick them up. Okay, I'm back with my tweezers. Tweezers make it so much nicer to pick up the screw. I can operate the, the oops, backward, back them out. Tweezers, take them out. Left-handed and right-handed, the screwing is just as easy. I'll put the driver in the left hand and the tweezers in the right hand. Okay, uh, I'm going to stop there. I'll take this out and get ready to uh, do the CA. Okay, I'm back with my CA applicator. I'm dripping all over the place. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so that was not expected. I guess I squeezed too much to get it started. Should have put it back up. Um, It'll be okay. However, I am going to take the um, P 
pin vise and poke a hole just to make sure that the CA isn't going to cover it over. Okay, the holes are fine. And uh, that, I'm going to let that glue dry for 24 hours. And uh, what I'm going to do next off camera is do the same thing for the other uh, servos there. So they'll all dry in the same 24 hour window. And um, we'll uh, uh, have all that ready to mount the, all three of those servos. Okay, thank you very much.